Hello everyone and welcome back. So today we are going to learn how to use Redux Toolkit and also I'm going to show you how to create, read, update, and delete with a Redux Toolkit. So as you can see here, this is the final project that we are going to be building. Really simple project. And as you can see here, we have this add user button. If I click add user, it's going to be go to the local host 3000 slash add test user. Okay. And in here, I can add name for example let's say amanda in the email i'm gonna say amanda at mail.com okay if i click submit as you can see we get new user here with beautiful card let's add another user i'm gonna say james and also the email let's say james at mail.com if i click submit we get james here okay really nice and also I can edit the data here. If I click edit, as you can see, we on the edit test user slash the ID. Okay. And also here I can edit that. For example, the name, I'm gonna change that to, for example, John. And if I click edit, as you can see, it's gonna be updated here. And also I can delete that. If I click delete, it's gonna be gone. Okay. And we are gonna use the React to uh build this project and also for the styling we are going to use tailwind and also for the uuid for the id here okay we're going to use uuid and of course you're going to use redux socket and yeah that's what we are going to be building guys really really simple and let's get started all right so in here i have already generated great rec app so now what we need to do first is we need to install tailwind so let's just copy this and paste that in here and hit enter. All right, so it's done. Now let's go back to Tailwind documentation and copy this Tailwind config and go to Tailwind config.js file and we need to paste that in here, okay? And also we need to copy the CSS here, copy and paste that in here, like that. Okay, we're done. So now we need to create a, let's say folder. I'm going to give a name filters and inside this feature here I'm going to add another folder again let's say users okay inside this user I'm going to add file let's say user list.js file okay so in here I'm going to generate functional pass component and I'm going to let's import this user list into app okay so I'm going to do here Let's say user list. Okay, it's gonna become from filters slash user slash user list. If I save and let's take a look. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> we need to run the server. Let's say yarn start. It's gonna be open the project into localhost 3000. And as you can see here, this is still loading. Alright, we see user list, all right? Cool now let's go to user list but i'm going to close this tailwind config index CSS. now in here what i'm gonna do is let's remove this user list text and i'm going to add the class name set it equals to display grid and grid gap i'm going to not grid gap just gap i think gap let's say five and also for the medium and more i'm going to say grid a column to two column okay and also inside in here i'm going to create variable first let's say users set so equals to uh, empty array for now so in here i'm going to check if users dot length have a value we need to render function call let's say render card okay don't have yet but we are going to create that later else i'm going to render paragraph text in here so the text let's say no user okay and i'm going to add the class name set so it equals to the text i'm going to say center and also the column let's say span two and also the text is going to be gray 700 and also uh, the font i'm going to set that to semi bold so now if I save and as you can see we get the error here because render card is not defined so let's create the function up here 
let's say cons render card set that equals to arrow function and i'm gonna say div for now now let's say users here okay so now if i save and let's take a look we should see no user because we don't have any user but if i add uh, for example, let's say object in here. I want to say ID one and the name, let's say Amanda and also the email. I'm going to say Amanda at mail.com and let's just uh, copy and paste that. And this is going to be ID two, the name, let's say John and the email. It's gonna be john at mail.com. Okay, if I save and let's take a look, we should see user here. Okay, because this function is running. So now let's dial in this card here. I'm going to remove that and I'm gonna say users.map. I'm gonna map through the users array in here. I'm gonna grab the individual user and I'm gonna return a div here. All right and let's make it small the sidebar and also the terminal i'm going to close that and inside this div here i'm going to add the class name and the background i'm going to set that to gray 300 and also the padding i'm going to set that to 5 and i'm going to put a display flex in here the items i'm going to set that to center okay and also the justify i'm going to set that to a space between all right and also inside this display flex, I have a div. This is going to be the username and user email. And also down here, I'm going to create another div. And this is going to be the icon edit and icon uh, delete. Okay. This is going to be in the left and this is going to be in the right because we set the justified space between. All right. So in here, I'm going to say head three and I'm going to access the user dot name. All right. And down here we have span and I'm going to access the user dot email, right? So now let's style in this history a little bit. I'm going to add the class name set equals to the font. I'm going to set that to bold and also the text. I'm going to set that to large and the color. Let's say text gray 700. Okay. And for the span, I'm going to add class name, class name set equals to the font i'm gonna say a normal and also the text i'm gonna say gray 600 all right so now if i save and let's take a look as you can see we get this amanda and this uh, email down here but as you can see we not uh yet wrap everything inside a container so let's go back to app as here and add the class name in here so, so let's say class name set equals to i'm going to wrap everything inside a container and i'm going to make it everything in center so let's say mx auto and i'm going to add the padding horizontally i'm going to set it to two and also the maximal width i'm going to set to 5xl and also for the padding top i'm going to set it to 10 and also for the medium, I'm gonna change the padding top into 32, all right? So I think we should put uh, the H1, the title here. And let's say fruit with Redux toolkit. All right, cool. So let's styling this H1 a little bit. Let's say class name set equals to, text is gonna be in the center. And also the font, I want to change that to bold and also the text. Let's make it a little bit bigger. So to XL, I think. And also the text, let's say, let's say gray 700 like that. And now let's save and let's take a look in the browser. As you can see, we have crude with Redux toolkit, but I think it, this is zoom in. So let's zoom out. Here we go. Nice. Next, let's put the edit and delete icon in here. I'm going to grab the icon from heroicons.com and search for edit. I'm going to use this pencil icon. I can copy the JSX and let's go to user list. And in here, I'm going to wrap the JSX inside a button tag like so. Wait. Like that, All right? And also, I'm going to search for the delete. 
I'm gonna use this dress. I can copy the just X, and again, we need to wrap the SVG inside the button tag, like so. All right, so now save and let's take a look. As you can see, we have this really nice icon, but I need to have a gap between the icon here, so I can put a class name here and set that to flex and also the gap i'm gonna set that to let's say four and save let's see here we go nice so next let's create the button in here called add user i'm going to create another component let's say component folder first components and inside this components folder i'm going to create component called button.js file and in here i'm gonna say rafce and this button here tag uh, props which is on click on click and also the children all right and also in this return here i'm going to remove this div and put a button and also this button here basically have a class name so it goes to the background i'm going to set that to indigo-600 and also the text let's say white also the padding vertically i'm gonna set that to let's say two and padding horizontally i'm gonna set that to six all right and also the margin vertically i'm gonna set that to 10 and it's gonna be rounded and also if i hover i need to the color is changed so let's say background background indigo i want to set that to let's say 700 Okay. and inside this button i'm going to put the children so let's say children okay and inside in here i'm going to handle the on click event and put the on click come from the props All right so now we can use this button inside the user list so let's put a div first here i'm going to put div and put this grid here inside this div parent and inside in here i'm going to render the button okay the button come from the component folder like so and also in here the text the children i'm going to say add user like that so now if i save and let's take a look in the browser as you can see really nice we have this button cool now let's working with roads because when i click the add user i need to the road it's gonna be localhost 3000 slash add user okay and to working with the road we need to install the react router so let's go to reactrouter.com and as you can see we are going to use version 6 and let's click the read uh, documentation and go to the let's go to the installation and what we need to do is i'm going to use yarn and i'm going to copy this and put that in here okay let's open another terminal and paste that in here and hit enter all right it's done now so let's go to the the documentation and let's following the step so now we need to go to index.js and import the browser router and wrap our app with browser router so let's go to index.js file and in here we need to say browser router okay it's gonna become from react router dom and we need to put our app inside this browser router okay that's the step one next let's scroll and as you can see here we need to go to app and we need to wrap our component here with routes okay so let's go to app.js file and we need to wrap this component with routes all right so let's do here just make sure you import from react router dom up here and inside in here what we need to do is use a route okay so let's use route let's say route like that this make sure import up here and in here we can say the path first okay the path is gonna be for slash and then the element the element here is gonna be this user list okay we can just copy this and put that in here okay if i save and let's take a look if i go to just for slash it's gonna be uh showing this wait what happened what i'm doing if I do just for slash, it's gonna be go to this uh, user list, all right? 
but if I go to the road that doesn't access, it's gonna be blank here. Alright, so for now, we need to create another road called add test user. But before that, we need to create a, the component first. So in here, I'm going to say add user.js file. Alright, so let's generate functional pass component here. And I'm going to go to the app.js. And in here, we need to add the road. Alright, just copy this. And this is going to be add as user okay if user go to add user i need to render the add user component okay it's come from the feature slash user slash add user so now if i go to a local host 3000 slash add as user as you can see this add user is rendered all right cool so let's create the form now. So let's go to the add user here. I'm going to remove this text and add the class name. Set equals to the margin top. I'm going to set that to 10. And the maximal width. I'm going to set that to XL and also the MX. Let's say auto to make it center. And inside in here, basically, I'm going to create text field component first. So let's say text field dot js all right so in here let's say rfce and i'm gonna remove this text field here and add class name set equals to the display i'm gonna set that to flex and also the flex direction i'm gonna say column all right and also inside this div here i have a label and this label is basically have a value label come from the text field props so let's say here label like that so down here we have the input all right this input basically i'm going to render the input props i'm going to send the input props inside the text field and render all the value inside in here like that okay and also i'm gonna say on change set equals to uh, it's gonna be on change as well it's going to become from the props so let's say on change all right and also we have value set equals to value it's come from the props as well okay cool so now let's styling this label a little bit i'm going to say class name set equals to the margin bottom i'm going to set it to two text let's say base and also the color text gray 800 okay cool and also let's styling this input field i'm going to say class name set equals to the background i'm gonna say gray 200 and also the padding vertically let's say two the padding horizontally i'm gonna set that to three and also i'm gonna give a border to two and also the outline i'm gonna set that to none all right so now we can use this text field component inside the add user here. So I'm going to say text field. Okay, nice. Let's send the label so that equals to, I'm going to say name. And also I'm going to send input props set equals to, it's going to be object here. And I'm going to send the type is going to be text. And also the placeholder, I'm going to set that to, let's say, John Doe. Okay. If I save this and let's take a look in the browser, we should see this name and this input field and this John Doe as a placeholder here. Really nice. If I add another text field down here, the label is going to be email and also the type, let's say, email. And also the placeholder, I'm going to set that to, let's say, John Doe at mail.com. All right. If I save this and let's take a look, we have two input field here. Pretty nice. So now let's add the space between two components here. I'm going to add just break for now. Let's say break. Okay. So now we should see the space. Cool. So down here, I'm going to render the button component. So this button have a value let's say submit okay so now if i save and let's take a look here guys pretty nice all right so now let's working with the value so let's go back to the add user component here 
the first thing is I'm going to create the state. Okay, I'm going to give a name values and set values. Set equals to it's gonna be use state by default. It's gonna be object here, and also inside this object, I have to key and value. The first thing is name by default is empty string, and also email by default is also empty string. And in here, I'm gonna send the value set equals to values dot name, and also down here, I'm gonna send the value set equals to values dot email okay and also we need to send the on change so in here i'm gonna say on change set equals to i'm gonna grab the e okay the event and then in here what i'm gonna do i'm gonna set the values to i'm gonna grab the all previous values okay it's gonna be three dot here and also i'm gonna set the name into e dot target dot value Okay, so let's copy this on change here. We need to put that in here. Okay, so let's paste that in here. And also, this is gonna be email like that. And also, in this button here, I'm going to add on click event. And in here, I'm gonna say handle add user. Okay, when I click this button submit, I need to run this handle add user function. So let's create the handle at user function here this is going to be a row function and for now i just want to console log the values right so let's go back to the browser and let's open the console let's say console here and as you can see here we have some wording react dom dot render is no longer support in react 18 use create root hmm uh, okay, we need to just copy this one here and go to index.js file. We need to paste that in here. And also, we need to use this uh, React DOM client. So we need to remove this React DOM. And also, to use that, we can just say root.render. So we can say root.render like that. Okay, so now let's save and let's take a look. Hmm create root target container is not dom element what do you mean oh yeah this is gonna be root guys let's say root okay and i think we don't need this one here so let's remove and let's save and here we go it's clean now so now let's try to add new user in here and i'm gonna say james for the name and for the email let's say james at mail.com okay if I click submit, as you can see in this console here, we have the name and the email, all right? But I need to, when I click the submit, the value here is gonna be back to empty string. And also I need to, the road is gonna be back to just four slash, okay? So we can say in here, set values, set that equals two. I need to set the name back to empty string and also for the email i need to back to string okay and also when i click submit i need to back to the home page which is for slash all right so what we can do is pretty simple basically inside in here i'm gonna say navigate set that equals to use navigate it's gonna become from the react router dom and also down here i'm gonna say navigate navigate to for slash and that's it so now if I save and let's try, I'm gonna say James and the email is say James at mail.com. Okay, I'm gonna reset, remove this value in this console. When I click submit, bam, as you can see, we get this name James, the email James at gmail.com. But as you can see here, we get this warning because in this user list here, we need to add the key. So let's say key set equals to user dot id all right so now save and it's gonna be gone the warning is gonna be gone okay cool if i click add user here nothing happened that's because you don't implement the link in this button so let's go back to user list and here we need to say link come from react router dom and we need to put the button inside this link here okay so you can cut and put that in here 
So in this button, we need to put the props call to, and this is gonna be set equals to, and let's say add test user, okay? So if I save and let's take a click, if I click add user, it's gonna be go to the form, which is the slash add user. If I click uh, submit, as you can see, it's going to be back to the force last and we get the value in this console. Really nice, really nice. We need to also add the link in this icon edit here because when I click this edit, I need to go to the edit this user slash whatever the ID. So now let's go back here and in this edit here, okay, I'm going to import the link come from React Router DOM. Also, we need to wrap this button inside this link like that right and also here i'm gonna say to set that equals to so in here i'm gonna use back ticks and i'm gonna say edit this user slash whatever the id the id is gonna become from user dot id okay because this is a value here have id all right so now if i save and let's take a look guys if i click this one here it's gonna be go to edit user slash one all right, if I click this one here, it's going to be go to edit user slash two. All right, cool. So now let's create the component and render the component in this road, in this road here. Okay, so now let's go to app.js file and we need to create a file called, let's say, edit user.js file. And in here, I want to say rrfce and save. And let's go back to app and I'm going to copy and paste this and this is going to be edit test user and I'm going to say colon ID. All right. And also this is going to be edit user, right? If I save and let's take a look, if I refresh, nothing happened here because we need to add four slash in here. So let's save and let's take a look guys as you can see we get this edit user really nice if i click this one here it's going to be showing the edit user cool so now let's styling this edit user it's going to be really same with add user so let's copy everything here okay let's copy that and let's go back to edit user and put that in here like that so now save and hmm, yeah we need to of course import the use oh we can just copy everything i think just copy this and paste that in here okay so now save and as you can see really nice we get the form now cool of course you can create this uh form here to another component and use the component in this edit and in this add but for now let's just copy and paste that i think it's fine but there's a couple things that we need to change is this button here is going to be added and also the name of this function is going to be handle edit user and let's change this handle edit user okay all right cool so now if i click edit it's going to be go back to the uh, user list okay cool so now what we need to do is we need to work with the redux toolkit okay so let's go to redux toolkit and click get start here and let's go to where we want to go we want to go to quick start and we need to just copy this one here and open the terminal and you can just paste that in here and hit enter all right so it's done now so let's close this terminal and to the first thing that what we need to do is go to the documentation and as you can see here the first thing is we create the store so now in source here i'm going to create a file called let's say store.js file okay so now we can go to the documentation and just copy this everything here and paste that in here Okay, so now save and let's scroll it down. As you can see here, we need to go to the index.js file and we need to import provider and wrap our app with provider. Okay, so let's go to app, not app, index.js file. And in here, we need to wrap our app here with provider. Okay, so let's say provider 
it's come from react as redux okay and like so we need to put the app inside in here like that and also we need to say let's see in the documentation store okay we need to say store as a props here set it equals to store the store here is gonna be come from the uh store that we create okay so we can say import store come from dot store okay so now save and we need to create the user slice so let's go to the features user here and i'm gonna create file call user slice dot js file okay uh, i think we can just close everything and just uh, open the user slice okay so in here basically what we need to do is pretty simple the first thing is we need to import the create slice so let's say import uh, create slice it's gonna become from the redux.js toolkit and also we need to create the initial state here okay so we can say cons initial state set equals to this is just object and but for now i just want to use a uh, let's say array okay like that uh i think we can just copy the this one here okay we can just copy this array and we can put that in here like that okay this is the initial state so next we can create variable call let's say user slice okay slice set that equals to create slice and inside in here we paste an object okay and this object here we have name okay just giving any name you want but i want to say users okay and for the initial state set that equals to initial state come from here and down here we need to export okay we need to say export default like this one here okay so let's just copy paste that in here but this is gonna be user slice dot reducer okay so now save and let's go to store.js file here and in here we need to say users and i'm gonna give a, a let's say let's say import that first the users reducer from it's gonna be from dot slash filter slash user slash uh, user slice i believe yeah and we can put the user reducer inside in here just like that to access this user we can use use selector so let me showing you here so in here i'm gonna say cons users so it goes to use selector it's come from react as redux and in here i'm gonna grab the store and let's say store store dot users because in here i give a name users right i can access the user by say start of the user so now if i console lock the users we should see the initial state let me refresh and as you can see we get this data here okay if i inspect and go to console and as you can see we get this array with this name and email okay if i change the initial state the value is going to be changed for example i'm going to remove this hamilton here and save and let's take a look as you can see the hamilton is going to be gone okay so the next thing what we need to do is we need to make this add user work so let's go back to user slice here i'm going to add reducers in here and inside this reducer i'm going to add add users okay in add user here it's basically a row function and stack a state and also the action okay for now i just want to console log the action so you can see the value let's say action okay and also we need to import the add user function in here so let's say export cons i'm gonna say uh add users so that it goes to going to be user slice dot actions okay so now to use this uh, add user function we can go to the add user here and first we need to create the variable called dispatch okay dispatch that, that equals to use dispatch is come from react redux 
right here all right and also we need to run this dispatch inside in here okay so we can say dispatch inside this dispatch function we need to put the add user function okay this come from the user slice here and also inside the add user we need to paste an object so inside in here i'm going to put id let's say three for now and also the name set that equals to name no no name name set that equals to values dot name this value here okay uh, values dot name and also the email set that equals to values dot email okay so now let's save and let's try here i'm gonna say tony and the email let's say tony at mail.com if i click submit as you can see in the console here we get the type and also the payload okay this payload is basically the email id and the name all right so now we can do in the user slice here we can do is we can say state all right dot push we push new value inside the state okay and let's put the action dot payload all right so now save and let's try i'm going to refresh first i'm going to remove this console log and use the list this one here okay so now let's refresh it's clean i'm going to add new user let's say new one okay let's say here one at one.com okay so if i click submit as you can see we get a new card here really nice if i add another name let's say random something here if i click submit as you can see we get the new uh card here but of course the id is same because as you can see here we put the id history that's why now we need to install the uuid so now let's say yarn at uuid okay hit enter okay now it's done to use uuid is pretty simple let's go to the documentation here the first thing is we need to import the uuid so let's go up here i'm going to paste that in here okay we need to import the version 4 and also to use that is pretty simple we can just put uuid version 4 and invoke the function just like that you now save and let's go back here and let's refresh and if i add the user let's say a random something here if i click submit as you can see we get this uh, new user and also if i click random something here if i click submit we get the new user and no error okay because the id now is unique so now let's working with edit if i click this icon pencil here we go to the edit dash user slash one the id is going to be one right i need to grab the value here the id one here so let's go back to the vs code i'm going to open the edit user and in here i'm going to say cons params so that equals to use params is come from react router dom okay we invoke the function here if i console lock the uh params dot id is gonna be showing the id as you can see one okay nice so we get the id now what else else we need to grab the users come from the store here so you can just copy it's come from user slice and paste that in here you can say like this one all right so of course we need to import the use selector like that so now i'm going to create variable called let's say existing user set that equals to going to be users dot filter okay i'm going to filter the user here and i'm gonna say if the user dot id is equals to params dot id okay so now i'm gonna say cons i grab the name and the email that equals to existing user and i'm going to grab the index zero so now i'm going to set the name values here with names come from the existing user and email let's say email okay because we have same name we don't need to do this okay let's do the same thing like that so now if i save as you can see we get the value here really really cool 
So now we need to, if I click edit, it's going to be run the function to edit the user, but we don't have yet. Okay. As you can see here, we just have add user. Okay. So now we need to create another function called edit user. Okay. This is like a state and also action. All right. Like that. So in here, I'm going to grab the ID, the name, and also the email come from the action dot payload. Okay. And also down here, I'm going to say cons as 16 user set that equals to, I'm going to say state. Okay. Dot fine. I'm going to use fine in here. And also we grab the user. And in here, I'm going to say if user dot ID equals equals to ID. Okay. The ID come from this one here. Okay. Come from the payload. So in here, I'm going to check if the existing user have a value. I need to say existing user dot name. I want to change that with new value come from payload, which is the name here. Okay. You can say name. And also the existing user dot email so that equals to email. Okay. Come from the payload here. Okay. Cool. So now save and let's go to the edit user here. And what we need to do here is pretty similar like this at user here. We need to create this patch first. So let's do up here. I'm going to say once this patch set that equals to use this patch. All right. And also inside this handle edit user, we need to say this patch. And also I'm going to put the edit user. Mm, I think we don't yet export so let's go back to user slice and we need to export the edit user like that so now we can say edit user come from slice okay and inside in here we need to id we need to set it with params dot id and also the name we need to set it to values dot name and also the Email, we need to set that to read values dot email. Okay, so cool. So now let's try. Let's go back here. If I click, for example, let's say Amanda new. Okay, if I click edit, as you can see, it's updated, guys. Really, really cool. John, let's edit that. I'm going to say John Doe. If I click edit, as you can see, that's updated. All right, so really, really cool. So the last thing is we need to make this delete button work. So let's go back here. I'm going to create the action first. So in here, I'm going to say, let's say delete user. Okay. Just like a state and also the action. So what we need to grab from the payload is just the ID. So let's say ID set equals to action not catch action dot payload all right so in here i'm going to find the existing user we can just copy this and put that in here so here i'm going to say if we have the existing user i'm going to return state i'm going to filter okay it's going to be user here and also i'm going to say if the user dot id is not equals to id okay like that really simple and also we need to just export the delete user like that to use delete user is pretty simple we can go to user list here and in this button here we can add on click event so let's say on click set that equals to i'm going to create a function called handle remove user okay and also, basically, we need to put arrow function here because I need to put the user.id. So now let's create the function up here. Let's say cons handle remove user. Okay, set that equals to arrow function, stack a id as a parameter. And also in here, I'm going to say dispatch. Oh, we don't have yet. So let's create a dispatch. Let's say cons dispatch that equals to use dispatch like that so now in here we can say 
this patch and we can uh, use delete user it's come from user slice and also in here we send ID like that pretty simple now save and let's take a look guys if I delete Amanda nothing happened what the problem uh, I think we need to send object here and let's say ID set to ID like that okay so now save and let's try that again if I click delete okay that is gone pretty nice uh, if we have same name we don't need to use uh, ID colon ID just ID like that so now let's go to store I think not store but user slice and I'm going to remove this initial state so now save and let's take a look here as you can see the first time is no user here if I click add user let's say Tony for example Tony and the email let's say Tony at mail.com if I click submit as you can see we get a new user here if I click add another user let's say Amanda again and the email let's say Amanda at mail.com if I click submit we get Amanda here okay really nice if I want to edit the Tony Tony new if I edit as you can see it's updated if I delete it's gonna be gone I think that's it for this video guys. I hope you can implement Redux Toolkit in your project. And also don't forget to subscribe. Yeah, bye. <laughs>